what's up y'all hope you're doing well hope you're doing good thank you so much for coming to my channel to check out another video if you like this video please feel free to like comment share subscribe any support is really appreciated. I appreciate the support I've been getting as of late. I appreciate you just taking your time out of your day to check out something on my channel. I'm really thankful for it. In this video, I wanna ask a question. Before I ask the question, I wanna get some off my chest. This is going to be a video about Puffy. Diddy, P Diddy, the guy who's going through everything right now, who's kind of seen his empire crumble, his life crumble. I'm not going to be a person to say, I saw this coming or I thought that this was always Diddy. I did make a video a few months ago where I talked about how I thought that Diddy had always been kind of a little off to me. I don't think I saw it as off as kind of the allegations that came off, but just a little off. He portrayed certain things, certain images in his lifestyle that more of us should have seen and been like, something isn't right. I think Diddy has always been attracted to humiliation rituals to a degree. He was able to hide that because he was a man of power, but you can only hide those for so long. There were certain th things that he did, for me personally, that just kind of rubbed me the wrong way. One of my biggest things against Diddy, and this is a minute thing, but to me it was big, how he was so against the NFL and he was talking about, we need this and we need that. We shouldn't be watching these games until blase blase. But then he was shucking and jiving at the Super Bowl. He was dancing on the 50 yard line. He was there. He wanted the cameras on him and everything. I always thought that that was weird. That doesn't compare to some of the other allegations that he has against him. But I always thought it was weird. Diddy has always been att seemingly attracted to humiliation. A lot of the stuff that happened in making the band, a lot of the ways that he treated people, it was very much humiliation rituals. But nothing like what we saw and what we've been seeing from him and the allegations and the rumors. Now, I don't want to talk about the case particularly. I think people have talked about it better. One of the things that I want to talk about and what my, what my question involves is I've seen the sentiment going around. I've seen a few people say it. I'm just trying to figure out the logic behind it. I'm trying to understand it. My question is, why do people think that if Diddy comes out as gay or bisexual, that it seemingly be like a get out of jail free card like this will be his get off the hook card and i don't know if a lot of these people are referring to maybe he'll get out of jail he'll be better in the public space he'll get grace and mercy in the court of public opinions i just i don't see it i don't understand it one of the main reasons i don't understand it is because even if Diddy comes out as gay or bi, he still has allegations of abuse. He has allegations of rape. He has a lot of allegations. They even said he tried to explode somebody's car. They said he's tried to explode a few people's cars. I just don't understand the logic behind him coming out as gay or bi, helping him or relieving some of the, the allegation stress, relieving some of the possible jail time. I just don't see how that works. One of the things that makes me think that people believe that is in a lot of people's eyes, being homosexual, being bi, being gay, being queer, is seen as a deviancy. It's not seen as something in the norm. There are people who classify it as a mental illness. That's what some people believe. Now, my particular belief, are they kind of seeing it as if he is to come out as gay, bi, queer, whatever, are they going to see this as a person who was never normal? But then it's like, I don't think that he would get leniency or grace or mercy. There's, there's a few examples. One of the shining examples to me as to why he wouldn't get grace, leniency, or mercy, whether it's in the real court of law or in the court of public opinions, there's been a conversation around R. Kelly that he was abused by his older sister. And that led him to be kind of the way that he is. And they still buried R. Kelly. They buried R. Kelly as deep as they could with no hesitation. So I don't understand why Diddy would get leniency if R. Kelly didn't. And the other thing I think of is if someone like John Wayne Gacy, after everything that he did, all the acts that he committed, if he was to come out and say, you know what, I'm gay, I gotta admit it, it's time for me to admit it, would that have all of a sudden made me be like, it makes sense, no wonder he's been doing all this, no wonder this has been going on. I don't think so. I think they would still see this as a person who was dangerous, a person who committed heinous crimes, and I think they're gonna still see Diddy the same way. So I just don't understand the logic behind him coming out as as queer, bi, gay. I don't understand how that would help his case. I don't think that helped his case at all. I think they're still gonna wanna bury him because of the things that he's done. It's probably too late anyways for him to do that. 
I just don't see that as a cop out. I do not see that as a cop out. Only thing that makes sense to me as to why people would think that is because they see that as a deviancy, as something that is not normal. So people may be like, well, he's not normal, so it makes sense. He's been dealing with this so called mental illness. The other thing that I could see is people possibly having sympathy. Diddy is past the point of sympathy. He's past the point of grace. At this point, if you're not supporting Diddy, if you don't like Diddy at this point, nothing is going to change that. I don't think anything is going to change that. No matter what he says, R. Kelly is a great example. No matter what R. Kelly says at this point, nothing is giving him leniency or grace in a lot of people's eyes. I think the books are cooked on Diddy. I think it's stew now, it's fricasseed, it's broiled. A few people have said this. The only thing that may make sense than him coming out as gay or bi is if he is to come out as a minister. And that might be that might be the, the trick that actually works. If he doesn't go to jail, if he doesn't go to jail, if he disappears for a little while and then he comes back as a minister, that makes sense. But otherwise, like I said, the books are cooked. I just don't see it. I cannot see it. I don't see how he helps himself at all to get out of this. Nothing. Nothing I see every week. It's a new rumor. It's a new lawsuit. It's something new that lends credency to the fact that Diddy is is a monster. I don't think there's anything that can help him at this point. No matter what he comes out as, nothing can help him at this point. And I think the other issue is that people see the signs that have kind of come before it. So there's things that happen. There's things that old messages they see. It doesn't give him grace, even if he's gone through trauma. Diddy also messed up. I don't want to talk about it too long, but Diddy messed up when he made that apology. Horrible idea. I don't know who was behind him or whose team is. He deserves shame for that apology in itself. Because that apology was not sincere and it was just bad. A bad move. Everything about that apology was bad. I don't know what the future holds for him. I don't think he's going to get any grace or any mercy anytime soon. In my eyes, I can't see anything he does to help himself at this point. I think it's too far gone. And like I've said, and I will tell you say, I think the books are cooked. We'll see what happens next. We'll see what more information comes out. I think that the ball is just going to continue to drop. Somebody else is going to pick the ball up and drop it. And they're just going to keep picking up and drop it. It's cooked. The books are cooked. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to check out this video. Do you think there's any possibility that if Diddy came out as gay or bi, that that would help him? I don't see it. Maybe you see it. Maybe you agree with the logic of other people. That logic is dumb to me. I don't see it. It doesn't make sense. It's dumb to me. But maybe you can make it make sense. Again, thank you for your time. I really do appreciate it. I really do thank you for checking out this video. Please feel free to... Check out other videos on my channel. If you like the other videos on my channel, check out those videos. Feel free to share those videos. Feel free to subscribe. I really do appreciate any support. Thank you again so much for your time, and I hope you guys continue to have a good one.